We will be replacing the low beam headlights in this 2012 Acura TL with all new LED bulbs from A Lighting. The Acura comes standard with HID bulbs, so this installation will take you through all the steps you'll need to know to do it yourself. Because this installation is more involved than swapping out the halogen bulb, we have broken it down into three sections. The first is how to remove the front bumper, followed by how to remove the headlight assembly, and finally, how to rewire the assembly to power the new LED bulb. Step one is removing the front bumper. The tools you'll need for this is a 10 millimeter wrench, a flathead and Phillips screwdriver. The low beam headlight is located here. So we'll start under the hood to remove all the plastic engine panels. You can see there isn't enough space to work on the low beam headlight. So that is why we need to remove the light housing. To do that, we will first need to remove the front bumper. There are a series of 10 millimeter bolts and plastic clips holding the bumper along the top. There is one Phillips screw in each wheel well that will also need to be removed. access the screw in the wheel well, you need to pop free the two plastic clips holding in the liner. You can then peel the liner back to expose the screw. The same for the other wheel well. And finally, there is another series of bolts and clips on the underside of the bumper. Remove the 10 millimeter bolts and pry free the plastic clips. This last plastic clip is installed from the inside out, so you'll have to remove this last one after you can free the bumper from the car. You can now pull the bumper away from the car, carefully freeing the remaining clips to keep the bumper in place. There is still one more step before the bumper can be removed completely. You'll need to take out the two bulbs on each side for the fog light and parking light. To remove them, just give the bulb a counterclockwise turn to unlock them and pull them out. We need to use some channel lock pliers to get a good grip on the top bulb. Now you'll be able to pull the bumper away from the car. Step two is to remove the headlight assembly. For this, you'll need that 10 millimeter wrench. The headlight is held in place with four bolts, two in the front, two more on the top. When taking out the top bolts, be sure you're removing the bolts to the housing and not the chassis bolts. After you've removed the four bolts, you can remove the housing by pulling it straight out. Step three is to replace the HID bulb with the LED. This will require some rewiring, so you will need pliers, wire strippers, electrical tape, plus two wire nuts, two T-taps, and a length of wire. The first thing to do is remove the dust cover to expose the HID bulb. You will also see attached to the housing 
is the HID ballast. The ballast is outputting more than 400 volts, which would kill any LED bulb. So we need to wire around the ballast to provide the standard 12 volts that power all other headlights. The wire into the ballast runs directly from the vehicle battery, providing the 12 volts of power that we need. This is the wire we're going to tap into to power the LED. We will remove the HID bulb first by removing the connector. Turn it counterclockwise to unlock and remove the connector and expose the HID bulb. There is one small wire plugged in from the connector to the side of the bulb that needs to be unplugged. To remove the bulb, pop free the springs on each side of the bulb by pushing them down and away. You can then remove the bulb. Now that we have it out, let's compare the HID bulb to the new LED bulb from Ala Lighting. You can see the LED strip on the new bulb is in the same position as the original bulb. This will provide the best possible light output and beam angle because the housing was designed to fit the original bulb. When installing the new LED, you want to be sure that the LED chips will be facing out to the left and right with the square notch at the top of the bulb. To ensure you will always have the best fit possible, the bulb is 360 degrees adjustable. To adjust the bulb, hold the base in one hand and with the other hand, push down and turn it, just like you would open a pill bottle. If you notice this slot here, you can turn the chuck to match the notch with this slot and the chuck can be removed completely. The rewiring will include going around the HID system and tapping right into the 12 volts coming from the car. We will be tapping the power into the ballast 12 volt input. To feed the wire from the ballast to the bulb, we will remove this small air plug. If needed, you can enlarge the hole with a drill. Feed the wire through the hole and pull it through to make sure you have enough to splice into the LED connector. Expose the power wire and install the first T-tap. For each T-tap, there is a side with two openings and a side with a dead end. Be sure the side with the two openings is pointed towards the wire you are connecting. Slide each T-tap over the power wire. Feed one of the loose ends of the new wire into the end of the T-tap. Use pliers to lock in the tabs. and close the top of the T-tap. Feed the other wire into the other T-tap. Use pliers to lock in the tabs. Use electrical tape to cover where you had opened the wire cover and tape in the T-taps for extra security.
Now you will need to strip the insulation from the other end of the wires to splice into the LED connector. Strip off about half an inch of insulation. Also strip off about half an inch from the LED connector. Use a wire nut to secure the wire from the LED to your new wire you just installed. The LED is not polarity sensitive, so you can secure either wire. Use electrical tape to secure it all in. Now we have it wired and we can install the bulb. To avoid removing the HID system, we will keep it intact and feed it into the housing. But it's recommended to seal it with electrical tape. There is still plenty of room to feed the LED driver and any extra wires into the housing as well. To ensure the bulb is installed vertically, be sure the square notch is pointed up and you can line it up with the housing. Insert the bulb and pull the springs back towards the bulb to lock them in. Lastly, replace the dust cover. Always check to be sure the lights work before putting everything back. To reinstall the light assembly, push it straight in until the holes for the bolts are lined up. Tighten down the top ones and then the side. Make note, one bolt has a different thread than the others with a space without any threads. This special bolt will be the one for the front. Now the other side. Remove the four bolts holding in the housing. Pull out the assembly and remove the dust cover. Loosen the connector by turning counterclockwise and pull free the little wire running to the bulb. Loosen the spring and remove the HID bulb. Expose the power wire and add the T-taps. Remove the air plug and feed the new wire into the housing. Add the new wire into the open end of the T-tap and secure with electrical tape. Splice the wire to the LED connector and secure with wire nuts and then more tape. Now feed the LED driver and any extra wires into the housing. 
Check the bulb to be sure the LED chips are facing out to the left and right, and adjust the bulb if needed. Line up the square tab and insert the bulb. Move the springs back to lock it in. Replace the dust cover and test. Now reinstall the lighting assembly on this side. Tighten down the four bolts. You can now finish by reinstalling the bumper. Start by reinstalling the two pairs of lights you removed by inserting and turning clockwise until they lock. Now carefully push the bumper back into place and secure the plastic locking tabs around the edges. Replace the screws in the wheel wells and the plastic tabs holding in the liner. Then replace the bolts and plastic locks along the top. And finally, replace the bolts and clips along the bottom. Plastic pieces may need to be shifted a bit to get it all to fit. Replace the plastic engine cover. and you're done. Let's check out the LED versus the HID with the LED on the right and the HID still warming up on the left. Here's what the LEDs look like installed in both headlights. And you can see when we project them onto this white wall, a clear cutoff line focusing the light on the road in front of you and not blinding other drivers. Safer, smarter, brighter, better. We are Ala Lighting.